this is Victor. I'm here with a new wiki painting and this time I'm going to explain you how I will do the basis for my block wool team. Here we have the test miniature but what I want to show here is how to do the basis. So as you can see the first thing I do is I apply this type of brown texture. So we are going to do this and I'm, oh, I'm doing that by using the one of the texture paints from um, um, Games Workshop is the Stirland Mood, okay? And the idea here, well, you don't need use a, uh, you have to use quite old brush. Never use a wood brush with that. I use more this type of brushes that are completely waste, okay? And I take some of these. You will see that have like sand incorporated, uh, and the bandages you don't need. It's quite thin. Uh, and will give a good base for later on to put the grass on top. I'm going to do them like a football field with some parts that are exposed that the grass have been removed. Have been uh, so the part that, that we have here you know, that is exposed. I want to look like mud. Okay, so we are going to apply this on all the bases, and you will see that once it's applied you don't see all these uh, type of things like the if you can you can add a, a, li a little bit thick layer and then you, the this type of things like the the slot will not be visible anymore even the injection point what is quite visible on this basis you just put this in there and it's not visible anymore so you apply that uh, the only problem you have with this paint is that no, they, they move to bigger pots, but in the small pots, you really were using. I just use for the twelve guys on the on the human team, and I use almost half of the pot with doing that, because you want to apply a little bit of thick layer on that to give the texture. So the, the layer is applied, okay. And once this is done, I will let it dry. Okay, let's take this one. We are going to do a little bit of dry brush. Not to, uh, I want to go for an uh, orangey dry brush. So I will start applying a crack brown. And I want to go more for a wet looking. So this is why I go for more, I want to go more orange than orange. I say orange, but I mean this orangey brown. You want to go more for this than for um, bone colors because bone colors give more of the the impression of dry mud. So uh, you want to apply this on all over this just to give a little bit of um, highlight on the texture. Not too much, just to make the, the texture more lifeful. Because on top of that we are going to apply the grass. Okay? Uh, and you can be more heavy in one area than others. And if you make mistakes, is the part that you will apply the grass to avoid it. That is visible. Okay, so for example here I did not cover well the injection point of the of the base, so I will apply there um, some some glass to to cover. Okay, so you want to do that. For example here that we have more text, so I will leave it all exposed. We are going to put a fill that is not in the best. We are going to do bases that are not the, be the filled with the, in the best conditions. Okay, so we apply that, and we are going to do this on all the bases. So I will apply this dry brush of this crack. So remember, it's crack brown. I will apply this on all the bases, and I come back. So the next step in doing the base has to be done once the miniature is finished, when you have painted the rest of the miniature, because we are going to put some static glass to do the glass. And I will use, in this case, I will use uh, this type of glass. Okay, this is a... Um, Scorch glass is, is a glass that this looks a little bit um, um, browning color. So you see, okay, it's a little bit brown, have a uh, brown and green at the same time. So we are going to apply, and for this, we are going to use really a bad brush, a brush that is really damaged. Um, I, we, I want to keep the hole free. So I'm going to play, for example, a little bit here. I will put more glass. In that case, for example, we can cover more part of the base. May look like a waste, 
to have done the brace and then covering but then here we have to be careful not to clock the hole I want to keep the hole uh, open to be able to put the ball when, when we are playing and then I will use really a bad brush for example something like that okay really really backed one and we are going to spread the, the, the glue and we can go a little bit on top of the woods it's not a problem uh, I also dirt, uh, did some dirtening on the woods I will do a tutorial this is my testing model as I shared before okay so here we put we put the song of us on this side and we keep one side for example we can keep this like that no one side without grass we can do different patterns and then we put it inside of the back okay and we we just keep the grass like that okay now we need to wait until this dries and when this half dry we, we can uh, we blow the excess of um, of glass. So this is how it's looking like. I will wait until this device and then I will show you the final uh, step. This is how the base is looking like. As you can see I cleaned the hole. You can pin the bottle in uh, the bottle, the bowl in, in the hole. You can see it's okay so no problem there. So you can put the bowl there this a little bit spiky to be fair okay so the next thing that we can do just a final touch if we can paint we can paint uh, um, a little bit one line of the field to represent that this maybe in one of the yard lines for example uh, let's use a brush that is not very good okay I will use this one and what we want to do is with not too much paint on the brush and we are going to make a straight line for example something like that okay and we we try to not to, to put too much and we go a little bit dry brush and we keep going through the line and what I want to do is to leave it like that, for example. Make it a little more white. And this should be enough. And now we have this base for blue ball that I think looks nice. It's not perfect. You can add more in things there if you want, but I think this is for me the basic base for a blue ball. You can make some with lines, another one with without lines. Uh, it's just to to yeah to put a little bit of color on the base. So this color is looking like, and now this bit is almost done. The only thing that is missing now is to put the number, and we'll be ready for the game. So here we have how to do bases for blue ball. I hope you have liked the tutorial this week. I hope you find this interesting, something a little bit different, but I think. Uh, it's interesting anyway. So that's all for this tutorial. I hope you find this interesting and please leave the comment below. Let me know what do you think. And as usual, thanks a lot for watching and see you again later. Bye.